Hey guys, how is it going? Welcome back to a brand new tutorial at Let's Build, or whatever you want to call it. Today, boys and girls, we're going to be building a barn for the animals. And if you're building a farm, this will be absolutely perfect for that. A lot of you guys have actually been asking for it in the comment sections lately, so here we go. And if you do enjoy the video, as per usual, do leave a like, because it does help me out so, so, so much, and I will love your faces. Materials we're going to be using. We got some oak logs. Mm -hmm. We then got some stripped birch wood today, so a little bit different to our usual stripped oak, but still a little bit fancy. We then got the spruce planks, we got the spruce trapdoor, the birch planks, and the birch stairs. Of course, there will be a few more materials, but we'll get to those when we need them in the video. In front of me, we got ourselves a little plot. We got 10 blocks going as this way, and we got 12 blocks off the back of that going this way. So we have ourselves a 10 by 12 block space. Now, first block we're going to be using is the oak logs, and we're going to place one on our corner just like a soul. We're then gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight blocks. On the ninth block, place another little something like this. Turning this, we're gonna jump one, two, three, four, and five on the sixth block, place bam, little oak log, and then again, one, two, three, four, five, and on the sixth block, place another. So we should have five, uh, a block gap in between each of our oak logs on the side. On the other side, we're going to repeat this. So let's just see one, two, three, four, and five oak log and the same again, which should be this corner just here. If we fly up, this is what we got. We're now going to raise these by another five blocks, making them all six blocks in height. So one, two, three, four, and five, and that should be six. Perfect. This one, one, two, three, four, and five. And whilst we do this, how are you guys doing? Hopefully you've had an absolutely fabulous day. Hopefully you're staying safe, staying healthy, and uh, your loved ones are doing good too. If you are, let me know in the comment sections below perfect that should be six blocks and one two three four and five all six blocks in height a little something something like this and now this is the part where you kind of got to decide which part of the barn is going to be your back and which part is going to be your front so my front is going to be just here and we're going to be using ourselves some stripped birch wood one block diagonal from our first oak log we're going to place one and two and we're going to jump ourselves one two three and four and place another one two little something something like this now taking this back on the side one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten we're then going to take it back along one two three four five six and seven and we're going to take it all the way along back to the first strip birch log uh, that we had placed from above we got this which is kind of like a little inside shell of birch um on the inside of our oak logs we're now going to raise these up by one two three and four and these are going to be five in height so simply raising them all by four and uh, our barn is going to start coming together. Now, you guys have been asking for this barn a lot. So like I said, if you do enjoy, uh, please do leave a like and let me know what other things you'd like to see me build in the future. Because hey, without your guys' ideas, I'd be pretty stuck sometimes. And I've been working on a lot of videos lately because I'm going to be moving um, to the United States of America. I know, crazy, crazy stuff. But hey, I do already kind of have a place out there and I have a PC and stuff. So it's not too crazy. It's just I got to get a few things sorted and stuff. So that's why I'm backtracking my videos. Hopefully for you guys to enjoy. If you don't enjoy them, well, well, tell me why. Tell me why. So this is what we got so far. We have our five block tool, strip birch, looking a little something like this. Now at the front, we're going to count one, two, three blocks up. On the fourth block, we're going to place random blocks. One, two, three, and four. They're pretty much any block you want to place. On the top of this, we're going to place another one, two, three, and four birch stripped wood, a little something like this, and remove the four blocks under this. And the only reason we place those is to make sure that the birch was kind of facing the same way as it was on the sides. Now, this is the part of the video where we kind of get a bit fancy schmancy with it. We're going to grab our birch planks and we're just going to simply texture these in to our stripped birch wood. So, for example, we're going to start randomly placing these um, all about the place at the front. And you'll see this adds a lot of depth um, and a lot of detail to the build. I'm just going to place them a little something like this. And it's got to be random, though, because that kind of gives it the uh, rustic barney kind of effect. And we're going to do this on all four of our sides. So on this side, let's see, let's put a little one here, remove two at the bottom, we can do a little one like this, uh, bam, two at the top maybe, and on this side, let's do a little free block, bam, 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 and yeah, as you can see, I'm just, I don't really know what to say about this, because it's got to be random, like I said, that's, that's what's going to give it your main effect, so as you can see, I'm just kind of placing them pretty much anywhere I can. Of course, we're still making sure that there's a, a few stripped showing because, of course, we're going to want that. Uh, let's just see. We'll do one like this. Bam, bam, bam. In the corner as well, maybe. Like this. A little two down here. Something like that. Uh, no, we'll keep you, actually. A little birch. Let's show you. Let's do you and you. And that should be pretty good for us. This side. On the other side, let's pretty much try and uh, get what we did on the other side. So let's just see at the top. Bam. 
uh, come down in the center do a little something like this and I, I know it's pretty tedious right but hey it's got to be done uh, if you do want the same effect as I'm getting but hey if you don't you can do it without I think this barn's still gonna look just as amazing um, if you ain't texturing it in because of course this is gonna use a few more materials if you're in survival um, but hey I would say if you're going for aesthetics that this is definitely what you want to be doing already it does look pretty sweet. Next, we're going to grab our spruce planks, and we're going to head to the tops just here. And we're going to connect our oak planks. So let's see. One, two, three, four, and five. We're going to do another. One, two, three, four, and five. On the other side, exactly the same again. One, two, three, four, and five. And again. Bam, 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 bam. Perfecto. We're then going to grab our spruce wood trap doors. Underneath these, facing this way, we're going to go one, two, three, four, and five. And of course, on the other side as well. One, two, three, four, and five. We've got to go to the right side of our barn. Mm-hmm. I do the same. Bam, 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 bam. The sunlight, it does be hurting my eyes. One, two, three, four, and five. Absolutely. Jobs are good. And now at the front, we are going to be placing trapdoors as well. So let's jump up just here. And we're going to place these on the top of our second block down. And we're going to place one, two, three, four, five, six. Turn around, seven and eight. On the other side, once again, we're going to be doing this as well. Now, pretty much on this build, it's pretty much symmetrical. So anything we do on the front kind of be happening on the back uh, apart from a big barn door because we're gonna have a big one on the front that's why we have this kind of gap and not so much of one on the back that's gonna be pretty much a solid wall but next thing we're gonna be doing we're gonna be texturing the floor on the inside of our barn i got a few materials we're gonna be using for this coarse dirt we're gonna use a wooden shovel so we can diggity diggity some path blocks uh, we got some crab uh, gravel gravel and uh some stripped sprucey wood now like we did on the outside this has also got to be uh pretty random now so i'm just gonna start randomly placing this about the place let's uh, see bam let's get a few more of these in uh maybe one two just a here and then do a little hmm like this maybe I don't know, but like I said, very, very random. We're going to get all of these in, and I'll be back with you in just a second when I've kind of uh, made an assortment of these materials on the ground. And our last little block is going to be a strip sprue. So this is what I've got going on. Now, I would expect yours to be different because, like I said, we're simply just placing these very, very randomly. But I'll, I'll do the little F1 so you guys can see what I've done. So you can copy it perfectly uh, from that picture. Now, we kind of got to add a little few at the front just here. I'm going to make this a gravel. I'm going to do a little bit more gravel. So first things first, let's remove the stone that I placed for our plot. And we're just going to uh, add a little gravel section at the front. Let's do one, two, and three. Or something like this. Maybe add one here. Do one this. Bam. And in the corner. And that should give us uh, kind of a little effect. Like the ground's kind of been stamped on and trodden on as like horses maybe have been taken into the barn. But from above, this is what we should be having. Alrighty, so next up, we're going to be using the stripped birch wood once again. We've got the birch planks, the birch slabs, and the birch stairs. On the inside, we're going to be making a little second story that we can kind of get up onto inside of the barn. So, first thing I'm going to be doing is placing ourselves 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And on the other side, we're going to do that again. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and uh, 9 blocks all the way to the end. We're now going to be grabbing our birch slabs. We're going to place 1, 2, 3, and 4. Five, six, seven, and eight. On this side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then simply on each side, we're going to do one, two, three, four, and five. And on the other side, one, two, three, four, and five. So in the middle, we got a little gap. We got a two by five, and we should have this. Now, 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 we are going to need a kind of place for our ladder. So I'm going to jump one, two blocks in, maybe. You can place this wherever you want. Um, but I'm just going to dig, dig, dig a little hole for our ladder. We can go in, grab that. And let's just see, place maybe one, two, three, and four, leaving a little one block at the bottom. But this is what we got. Now to be adding the top part of the actual barn itself, because right now it gets kind of a little bit short and stumpy. So, 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 so. On the top of our spruce uh, trapdoors, i got to come to this side to do this. We're going to place one, two, three, and four. Actually, let's switch it up a little bit. Let's place them sideways facing. So let's take a little row of these going all the way along. That should be eight blocks. And we're going to raise this section by another two. So let's do sideways all the way along. And I got to remove this one on the end and make sure that's placing sideways as well. And we'll do another one as well. So that makes this uh, three blocks in height. And let's just see what this be looking like. Perfect. That's what I was going for. So I want these birch ones down here facing upwards. And these ones on the top doing that little sideways thing. Because I think that'll make the build look a little uh, a little more interesting from a distance. Now we're going to be jumping. Let's see. One block up. Taking along one, two, three, four, and uh, let's do five and six. Leaving a one block on this side. We can then remove this block. So we got that. Now we're going to take this up by another layer. One, two, three, four, and five. Remove our little marker block. Place it the sideways facing one like this. 
Now at the top, on the wall, let's do one block in. Let's take it along one and two, and then remove this block. So from a distance, this is the shape we should be having. Now from these middle two blocks, we're gonna be jumping one, two, three, and on the fourth block down, removing one, two, and below this one and two, giving us a little two by two window. Now to head onto the back, we're gonna do exactly the same thing. And when I say exactly the same, I mean it exactly the same so three blocks up for this little section just here remove you bam make you sideways and again on top of this bring it all the way along oh missed you there and uh, bam replace you like this as you can see doing exactly the same that's what i want to see from you if uh you don't want your barn to look like this then don't do the same but you know if the outcomes of your guys's barn i would definitely recommend doing this now all we got to do is do our two on the top bam that will we be having. Now, of course, we're going to jump one, two, three on the fourth block. Remove one, two, and three. And our little shape is looking something like this. Now, we got to go in and texture them. Just like we did on this part at the bottom, we're going to be doing a kind of samey, samey thing on the top. So, I'm going to go in now with a few of these. Let's just see. Let's do one. Let's do two. And once again, it got to be super random because that's how we're kind of playing this. A little bit risky today, boys and girls. One, two, three, maybe down here. Do a little, maybe one like this and like this. How does that be looking? There needs to be one over here. We're also going to go in with this, uh, the stairs, the birch stairs, and do a little something, something as well. So let's do maybe you like this. Um, then maybe here we can do an upside down one. Remove this and place another upside down one. And then one here maybe. A little normal face in. And boy, boy, does that add a lot more detail. Now I'm going to go ahead and do exactly the same as I've done here on the back. I'm actually going to lay them out exactly the same. So random on this side, and then we're just going to mimic that on the front. I think that should be good. And finally, bam, normal face instead. So exactly the same as we did on the back. This thing is coming together pretty nicely now. Next thing we're going to be doing is, of course, adding a little roof to the barn. So we got our oak planks, we got oak stairs, and we got some oak slabs. First thing we're going to be using is the blocks, and we're going to place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 of these going all the way along. We can then place oak stairs on the front of this facing inwards. Once again, uh, whatever we do on that side, we're doing on this side because we are going to want the roof to be looking pretty symmetrical and matchy-matchy. So taking all these along, this is what we should be having. Next up, we're going to once again do exactly the same on the next level. So placing our oak blocks going all the way along and uh, oak stairs on top of this. A little something like that now. Once again, I know I keep repeating myself, but I just want to make it very, very clear for you guys that are following. Because I know a few, uh, well, a lot of you actually do build these block for block. So a uh, few guys that want the clear instructions, that's why I'd be repeating myself. This is what we got so far, boys and girls. Now with our oak slabs, we're going to be placing one like this and one like this on this side. And then a full block next to that. A little something like this. On the other side, we get our slab, bam and bam. And on the inside of this, our oak planks. On the top, grab our slabs and place one and two. On the other side one and two so from the front we should be having this going on as a shape it kind of looks like the top of a bell or just maybe a bold head i i don't know you think that's a, what do you think it looks like um but i'm gonna be connecting these now so we're gonna grab our slabs and we're gonna connect all of these all the way along just connecting the dots as we usually do when we do build our roofs in these videos at the top we can just use our slabs and bring them all the way along oh i can seem to not be able to place any blocks today my bad my bad it's pretty late i keep recording these at like one in the morning but hey before this i was watching uh what was i watching oh avengers endgame what a movie oh my days if you haven't seen that already i'd really recommend it it's a real tearjerker though if you do follow the marvel films there we go all filled in the next thing we're going to be going in and grabbing is <laughs> we're going to need our spruce wood planks. We're going to need our spruce wood slabs as per usual. And we're going to also need our spruce wood stairs. First off with the stairs on the side, placing ourselves 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 to the 10 to the 11, 12, and 13 of these. And we're also going to place it one overlapping this side and overlapping on this side. So that's 15 stairs in total. Of course, going to the other side and doing exactly the same thing all the way along until we have it overlapping on each side like this. Alrighty, so now to add the spruce trim kind of going on the front of our oak logs, we're going to be placing an upside down stair on the back of our normal facing spruce stair. We're then going to place ourselves a spruce wood plank and a facing inward spruce wood stair on top of this. Then again, we're going to be doing an upside down stair on the back of this. We're then going to place a normal plank just like we did before. And then we're going to place a stair on top of this with, of course, a, a an upside down facing stair on the back. Now we're changing up a little bit. We're grabbing our slab and placing one, two, and three, four, and five. And that is what we should have on the side. Now we're repeating this process 
on this side now. So bam, little slab, full block, upside down, full block, upside down stair. Actually, one's got to be like this. Upside down, bam. Then we're going to grab our slabs and finish it all the way to the top. This is the shape we should be having when we are finished. Of course, whatever we were doing on this side of the roof, we got to be doing on this side as well. So grabbing our stairs, doing upside down ones like a so. Blocks on top, bap, then a stair on top of each one. And an upside down stair as well. Sorry, you guys, you hate when I uh, repeat all my stuffs, but it's pretty important for the guys that want to follow along. These go here, bam, upside down, boom, boom, little slab on top, and then connecting it in the middle with all of our slabs. Absolutely perfecto. Alrighty, so material change. We got the spruce wood trapdoors, the sprucey fences, some campfires, some splash water bottles, lanterns, and some grass blocks. And this is where we start detailing the place up. So I'm going to start on the front just because that's where we got to add our little barn door. That's what we're going to be doing first. So on these first two blocks on our doorway, we're going to place one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight trapdoors and flick all of these up. So we got this going on. We're now going to head behind here and do exactly the same. So one, two, three, four, five to the six, seven, and eight. And flick all of these down or up, depending on where you place them, giving us a little double thick uh, spruce wood trapdoor kind of detail. And that makes a really nice barn door. Turn in sideways, one block diagonal from the birch, placing one, two, up, three, four, five, six. And you guessed it, seven and eight. Flicking all of these down on this side. We're going to go behind, double this up. So it lets us see one, two, three, four five and six seven and eight and flicking all of these down and that gives us our barn doors and being able to double these up makes it look so so much better in my opinion and i really really do like how that be looking next up with our campfires we're going to be placing on the bottom of this birch block one like this one block away and two we're then going to jump two blocks and do exactly the same you may be thinking how's on fire so we're going to grab our splash potions of our water or potions not really potions but more like just bottles just bottles um and, and put those out what are you doing smoke please leave we're now going to grab our sprucey trap doors and uh, place these in between all the campfires so bam bam a little bit tedious i know but the end result is going to look pretty fantastic now we're going to grab our lanterns and hang these off of these two side spruce trap doors so from a distance this is how it should be looking. Above this on our window, we're going to do two spruce trapdoors either side of this, a little bit like that now. And with our spruce wood fences, one, two, three, and four in the middle of these, giving us this. Now, as far as the back of the place goes, um, we're going to be doing everything the same, just no door on the bottom. So we can uh, fill this in with our little fences and do the trapdoors either side like this. We can then grab the campfires, place one and two, one and two, and put the fires out because that would just look pretty crazy uh, if we didn't. Next, we're going to grab the uh, trapdoors and fill these in one or uh, two in the middle and singular ones on the outside and hang our lanterns from them. A little something like this. Now, around the sides of the place, we're going to grab our grass blocks in the middle, place one to the two to the three, and we're going to place spruce wood trapdoors all the way around these and flick them down. It's giving us some really nice little planters and that just makes, well, I'm putting them there just so they fill this kind of space up. Maybe you have your barn deep in a forest, so you wouldn't really need to place anything at the side. But if you guys are on a flatland world or, you know, you just have the space, I would recommend putting these just because they do add that extra little bit of detail. Final one, one, two, three, and then the trap doors all the way um, around that. Oh, yeah, I didn't mean to place you, buddy. Like this now. Next, we can just go in and grab maybe some oak leaves. Uh, let's do some birch leaves. And we're also going to need a few other things. Uh, maybe what's our tall grass? Let's grab that just here. And then do a little, maybe a bluet plant. And the tulips. Do be loving them. And the grass. I just grabbed absolutely everything, to be honest with you. Um, let's do something like this. Bam. And we'll do hmm, you and you. And then maybe like this. Perfect. Now heading on to the other side and doing exactly the shame. Little birch. Bam. And an oak in the center. Let's do uh, maybe one like so. Bam. And let's do you and you. And that works. You could do it completely randomly or however you want. You can also use whichever flowers you want to use because it is your guys' build. Next, with our spruce fences, we head in on the inside to the barn, which is looking pretty good in here. Now, we're going to place one, two, three, and four on either side of the little gap we have in the ground. We're just then going to go around and we're going to place ourselves these all the way so we can't be falling down. Next, with our spruce wood trapdoors, you can kind of see we've got a few ugly connected textures on the side. Uh, we're going to completely fill these up with spruce wood trapdoors the whole way along um, the barn. And I think this is just going to be a really easy option 
uh, to get away with it. So we don't have to see all the stuff behind it. And, you know, it, when in doubt, cover it up because it kind of be looking ugly. So getting all of these flicked in, we're going to do exactly the same on this side as well. And boom, last one, flick down, and this is what we got going on. Next on the inside, I'm going to remove all this stuff because we ain't going to be needing it. And I'm going to grab us some oak logs and some oak slabs. And we're going to finish off the inside of the roof. So, two blocks away on this oak block section, place ourselves one, two, three, four, five, and six, connecting it. Then two blocks away again, six all the way along, and once again, two blocks away. So, we should have an even two block, two block gap all the way along. Next, we can actually grab some lanterns because we'll be using uh, them to light the place up in a, just a second. Now, we're going to do, uh, let's see, one, two oak slabs all the way along. And then we'll turn around and do that again. Like this. We're pretty much just smoothing out how the roof be looking. On the top, I think we'll leave it and just place the slabs like that. Now, we're going to hang lanterns on the beams all the way along the barn. One block in from each side given us this and that actually admits enough light so you won't have things spawning up here because that can get pretty annoying especially the bats no 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 one likes the bats now for interior downstairs Alrighty, so i've picked another few materials up we got a barrel a hay bale a spruce fence spruce fence gate we got the lanterns the chains the spruce trap doors the sprucey stairs and some water buckets First, we're going to head over to the back corner, remove one, two blocks in the ground. And you can do this wherever inside of here, but I'm going to just do it in this corner just here. We're going to remove the blocks like that and place this and then place water in the stairs. And this is going to be a little trough. I'm pretty sure that's the correct word for that. But but who knows? Um, hay bales, let's do a few of you in the corner. Maybe uh, one like a so. And they do place kind of weird, huh? We're going to do a barrel on top of this or well, something like that now. Uh, we're then just going to place hay bales in and around the barrel. The barrel is kind of pointless, to be honest. Now, thinking about it. Let's do a sideways one here and here as well. And then another barrel. A little something like that now. On top of the barrel, we're just going to place ourselves a little spruce trapdoor. And this is what we got so far. Now, with our spruce fence, we're going to let's just see here. One block away from the ladder, place one and two and three. And on the other side, one and two. Now, where does the fence gate go? Actually, let's place one here. And then either side of this, we're going to place a fence gate. And that way, it's even. And my OCD isn't going to go absolutely crazy at me. Uh, in the corners, let's grab ourselves maybe the chains. Mm, we can't do that that side. Can we do it here? We can. Maybe just have one hanging in the back. That kind of looks pretty good, actually. Now, we're going to go in and grab ourselves a little plant pot. And let me see here, a flower pot. And we're just going to place these on front of this barrel just in the corner next over here grabbing ourselves once again a barrel and uh, placing that just like this we can then go in and maybe do hmm, a crafting table that'd be pretty handy inside of here wouldn't it now um and then a chest we can just place on the top looking like a saw now 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 in this corner we're going to grab ourselves our spruce wood trap doors let's do one and two let's uh flick these up on the side making it look like a little uh what would you want to call it maybe a table or something um, then we'll do a tripwire hook and some polished blackstone buttons. Bam, 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 and bam. And these got the thing you kind of, what, what do you do? You hang like the horse seats on them and stuff. I didn't, that's what you were doing. I don't know. Actually, let's remove that one and place another chest just because you can kind of never have enough storage um, in these places. Next, with our lanterns, let's just do two of these. Actually, we'll just put one on top of this chest. Oh, we can't do that. That's kind of sad. Maybe one on top of that. Oh, that works pretty well now. Perfecto. Now, all we need is a horsey. So where you be hiding, buddy? Horse egg. No, not a skeleton and not a zombie. Just a horse egg. Um, and we're going to place that in the set. Oh, it's a spotty one. You are purdy. Oh, my God. He's trying to escape already. Um, but boys and girls, that is it. The horse is in the barn. and we, He really doesn't like it in here. But hey, I think, personally, it looks pretty amazing. But that is it guys for this video if you did enjoy make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this and do like the video because it helps me in the channel out so 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 much thanks once again for watching love your faces and i'll see you in my next minecraft video bye guys